as of today, the Indiana Supreme Court has held that law enforcement cannot force a person to give up their cell phone password. In an amazing holding, supporting the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution, the Indiana Supreme Court has held, forcing a defendant to unlock their cell phone for law enforcement would violate her Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. We thus reverse the trial court's order, finding the defendant in contempt, and instruct the court to dismiss the citation. This is just huge. A person's cell phone is more than just the contents of their wallet, their tax returns, their emails between partners or people that maybe they did wrongdoing with. A cell phone is almost like it's like a personal invitation to that person. You got cell phone, you got text messages, you got photos. I got photos of my friends, family, acquaintances, professionals. It's just so invasive. And I'm so happy that the Indiana Supreme Court recognized that and they said, stop, stop that. And it's amazing. But don't think for one minute law enforcement is still not going to try to get into your cell phones. Even over this past weekend, I had an individual who, when she was being arrested, the officer said, hey, tell me your password so we can call your mom so they know where you're at. Um, that was a pretty clever one. And she said, I plead the fifth. The officer even shook his head and laughed a little bit because couldn't get in that way. If you give law enforcement your password, well, you no longer have the benefit of claiming the Fifth Amendment privilege. So if you're getting arrested, God forbid, don't fall for a trick. Hey, give me the password and I'll call your mom. Because once it's unlocked, the gate's open. You can't put the horse back in the barn. It's out there. Don't give up your password to your cell phone. Anybody watching this might be like, well, I got nothing to hide. There are too many laws that you know nothing about. Estimated that 70% of adults are breaking the law unknowingly because there's so many laws out there to be broken. You know it's a federal crime to catch a wrong sized lobster? Well, the guy that did years in jail, he knows that. And anybody who's watching this, man, Fifth Amendment is so powerful. Again, hats off to the Indiana Supreme Court for recognizing that and putting ink to paper. Always plead the fifth. If you have any questions, give us a call 317-632-3642.